next video i am going to explain cauchy's euler equation so this topic is from linear differential equations with constant quotients an equation of the form x par n d par n plus p1 x par n minus 1 d par n minus 1 plus and so on p n of y is equal to q of x where d is equal to d by dx derivative with respect to x so this is cauchy's euler equation in order to transform into linear equation with constant quotients there is a small substitution so wherever you find x you keep as e par z so in place of log x we have to write as z so x cube d cube should be replaced by theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 and x square d square is replaced as theta into theta minus 1 and x d as theta and this is how we have to convert into the linear equation with constant quotients and again we have to solve and here is the most important examples so these are the most most important questions here i'm going to solve and here is the solution for the first one that is x cube d cube plus 3 x square d square plus x d plus 8 of y is equal to 65 cos log x and see here according to our question so there is a substitution for x cube d cube should be replaced as theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 whereas x square d square as theta into theta minus 1 and x d is equal to theta and here x is equal to e power z and log x is equal to z and this is the substitution which we have to use for solving so in place of x cube d cube i am writing as see here theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 3 times of x square d square is replaced by see here theta into theta minus 1 whereas x d is replaced by theta plus 8 of y is equal to this is a 65 cos what is log x here log x is nothing but z now if i multiply so this is theta square this is minus 2 theta minus th 3 theta so this is minus into minus plus 2 once a 2 and this is theta square minus theta plus theta plus 8 of y is equal to this is a 65 cos z and if you observe so this will be theta cube minus 3 theta square plus 2 theta if i multiply with 3 so this will be theta square minus 3 theta plus theta plus 8 of y is equal to this is a 65 this is cos z so if you observe properly so this is plus 3 theta square and this is minus 3 theta square if you see here 2 plus 1 3 and this is minus so now plus 3 and minus 3 got cancelled and what remained here theta cube plus 8 of y is equal to this is a 65 cos z so for the complementary factor the auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0 so which is nothing but m cube plus 8 is equal to 0 so this is m cube plus 2 cube is equal to 0 so this is of the form a cube plus b cube so a cube plus b cube and what is the formula for that so a plus b into this is a square minus a b plus b square so if i substitute the same thing here this will be a plus b in place of a we have m and in place of b we have 2 so this is m plus 2 so this will be m square a b so this is 2 m plus b square 2 square is nothing but 4 so now we need the factors for this so this is m plus 2 is equal to 0 and this is m minus 2 m plus 4 is equal to 0 for m so what are the roots here minus b plus or minus root over b square minus 4 into a into c 4 4 is a 16 by this is 2 into a so here the roots will be 2 plus or minus root over minus 12 by 2 so m is equal to 2 plus or minus 4 threes so this is 2 root 3 into i by 2 if i cancel with 2 see here this will be 1 plus or minus root 3 i here comes the another root as minus 2 so these are all the roots here so this is m is equal to minus 2 and m is equal to plus or minus root 3 i so we can write yc complementary factor as c1 e power minus 2 z see here minus 2 z and here this will be e power z times of c1 cos root 3 z 
plus c2 sin this is root 3 z see here what is our x here according to our substitution x is nothing but x is nothing but e power z see here same i am substituting x is equal to e power z and log x is equal to z see here log x is equal to z now coming to our original form so this can be transformed as by c is equal to c1 e power z is nothing but x x power minus 2 e power z is equal to x so x times of c1 cos this is root 3 what is z here z is nothing but log x so this is nothing but log x plus c2 sine root 3 into this one is log x so this is the complementary factor and now coming to the particular integral so how to find out the particular integral for this so yp will be see yp will be 1 by see here it is theta cube plus 8 so this is theta cube plus 8 times of this is a 65 cos z as you know that so, whenever there is cos z or sin z, so d square is replaced by minus b square. So, here b is nothing but the quotient of z. So, here in place of theta square, I have to keep minus 1. yp is equal to theta square. This is minus 1 and 1 theta remained. This is a 65. This is cos z. So, yp value will be, so this is 8 minus theta. So, if I rationalize, this will be 8 plus theta and this will be 8 plus theta and 65 cos z. So, yp value will be, this is 8 plus theta, a plus b into a minus b. So, a square minus b square and this is a 65 cos z. So, again in place of theta square, so I have to substitute as minus, minus 1. So, if I substitute the same thing, yp value will be 8 plus theta by 64. In place of theta square, if I keep minus, minus of minus, this will be plus. That is a 65 cos z. So, yp value will be, this is 8 plus theta times of 65 cos z divided by 65. Now, I can cancel the 65 in the numerator as well as the denominator. Then, yp value will be 8 times of cos z and theta is the first derivative so this will be minus sin z see here as we know that x is equal to e power z and log x is equal to z so if i transform this then yp value will be 8 cos in place of z i have to write as log of cos x this is a sign of this is log of cos x and so the general solution as you know the general solution y is equal to y is equal to yc plus yp so we have to join them what is our yc value here so let me show you the yc value as well as yp value so yc is nothing but see i am showing here that is c1 x power minus 2 plus x times of this is c1 cos root 3x sorry root 3 log x plus c2 sine this is uh, root 3 log x plus this is 8 cos of log x this is 8 cos of log x minus a sine of log x so this is this is the final answer and this is most most important question so please have a look at this if you don't understand watch this video for one more time and there is another most important question see here so this is also an essay question please follow these videos and definitely it will be very very helpful for you and see here again for this also for the solution here so we have to transform x square d square as theta into theta minus 1 and x d is equal to theta and we have to keep in place of x s e power z and log x is equal to z so we have to make all these substitution here so x square d square can be replaced as theta into theta minus 1 this is theta plus 4 of y is equal to this is cos log x is nothing but z and in place of x i am writing e power z and this is cos this is sine z and this is how we have to solve if i multiply this will be theta square minus theta minus theta plus 4 of y is equal to this is cos z plus e power z into this one is sine z and now if i solve theta square minus 2 theta plus 4 of y is equal to this one is cos z 
plus e power z into this one is sin theta. So first of all, for complementary factor, we need the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is nothing but f of m is equal to 0. So in place of theta, if I write m, this is m square minus 2m plus 4 is equal to 0. For the factors, we have minus b plus or minus root over b square minus 4 into a into c, 16 by 2a. So, m is equal to 2 plus or minus, this is 4 minus 16 by 2 and m value is equal to 2 plus or minus root over minus 12 divided by 2. So, m is equal to 2 plus or minus 4 3 zero. So, 2 root 3 i divided by 2. So, m is equal to 1 plus or minus root 3 i. So, our yc value will be ready here as c here. yc is equal to e power z times of this is c1 cos root 3 z c2 sine this is root 3 into z as you know that x is equal to e power z and log x is equal to z see here if i substitute the same thing here so yc is transformed as what is e power z this is x this is c1 cos root 3 log x plus c2 sine this is root 3 into log x and this is yc and according to the yc the value is very clear and coming to yp the particular integral for this equation so here comes yp so yp is equal to so this one is 1 by theta square minus 2 theta plus 4 into this is cos z plus e power z into this one is sin z so, yp is equal to 1 by theta square minus 2 theta plus 4 into cos z plus this is 1 by theta square minus 2 theta plus 4. This is e power z into this one is sin theta. See here, in place of theta square, so this is minus 1. So, this is a combination. So, theta should be replaced by theta plus 1 as there is a combination with e power ax. So, here yp value is equal to in place of theta square i am writing 1 this is minus theta 2 theta as it is plus 4 into cos z so this is e power z so i am bringing it outside and in place of theta what i have to write theta plus 1 whole square 2 times of theta plus 1 plus 4 into this one is sin z See here, the next one what we have to do. So, this is 4 minus 1. This is 3 minus 2 theta. Again, we have to rationalize with 3 plus 2 theta and this is 3 plus 2 theta into cos z and this is e power z times of. If I expand it, see here, this is a square plus b square plus 2ab. If I multiply, this is 2 theta minus 2 plus 4 and this is a sin z. And see here, yp value will be 3 plus 2 theta. a plus b into a minus b is a square minus this is b square into cos z. This is e power z by. So, this value is theta square. So, if I cancel plus and minus. See here, this is 5 minus 2. So, which is equal to the value here is 3 into this value is a sin z. So, here if you observe here. What we have to keep in place of theta square as minus 1. So, in place of theta square also as minus 1. See, let's substitute and yp value will be, this is 3 plus 2 theta, 9. If I substitute minus theta in place of theta square, minus of minus plus. So, this is cos z and e power z. So, in place of theta square, if I put minus 1, so this is minus 1 plus 3 into this one is sin z. So, here yp value is 3 plus 2 theta into cos z and this value is nothing but 13. And see here, this is e power z by 2 into this value is nothing but z. See here, yp value will be, if I multiply with 3, so this will be 3 cos z. So, theta is nothing but the derivative. So, this is minus 2 sin z by 13 and this is e power z by 2 into sin z. So, this is how we have to solve and again we have to transform to the original form. So, we have x is equal to e power z and log x is equal to z. So, if I 
transform into x terms then see what happens here so yp value is equal to this is cos of log x minus 2 times of this is sin of log x sin of log x divided by 13 plus what is e par x e par x is nothing but x by 2 sin of this one is log x so this is nothing but this is nothing but yp so i am writing it once again yp value is 1 by 13 times of 3 cos of log x minus this is 2 sin of log x plus this is x by 2 times of sin of log x as you know that the general solution will be y is equal to yc plus yp so what is yc here and let me show you yc value here so this is nothing but yc just x times of this is a c1 cos root 3 log x plus a c2 sin this is root 3 into log x see here plus see here this is plus 1 by 13 times of this is 3 cos of log x minus this is 2 sin of log x plus this is x by 2 sin of log x and this is the final answer and this is how we have to solve thank you for staying till the end please practice definitely you can solve by your own if you don't get for one time please revise for one more time and if you really like please pass it on to your friends and support this channel and if you subscribe so you will be benefited and uh, these videos will be very helpful for your preparation thank you so much